Good morning, Americans. It's Friday. To be the thing has a five foot stride, it knows how to, it's evolved to function in the forest habitat or whatever its habitat. I sit down with Scott and Hannah Violet from Squatch America and a few other Squatchers. And we just sit around all day and talk about Bigfoot. My name's Todd Anderson. Where are you from? Mineola, Texas. Kim Carson, Mineola, Texas. And it's been my passion to, if the Cherokee had a symbiote relationship with them, probably spanning thousands of years, it only makes sense if they interacted that they would understand Cherokee. Okay. My grandmother was fluent, my aunts and uncles were fluent, I know enough to get in trouble and that's about it. Okay. I'm standing there and the guy's watching the big guy. I want to see if they understand Cherokee. So I, I look, you know, that branch, and I say, watch him, tell me if he does anything. And I say, Dr. Luce, thank you though. What is your name? You're Cherokee. I said, did he do anything? He said, no, he's just still looking. So I said, Gutta Luce, thank you though. What is your name? You know, the second time, where this other noise is coming from, a big beat bullfrog voice, beat voice goes, claw. That is no in Cherokee. I'm getting a cognizant reply from a subject that people think are a dumb animal. No. He doesn't, you know, enunciate a sentence or anything, but it's just a very emphatic no. I don't know if he was telling the other guy or me, but it was, it was, you know. I think he was telling you to bugger off. Exactly. I'm Drew. I'm Rick from East Texas. From East Texas, Bigfoot's real. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Enjoyed it. Great. Fun time. That damn Sasquatch. <laughs>